So the what you're about to hear is Carolyn talking about a specific image that she brought to the interview. And this image happened to be of a claw reaching out towards a frightened person. And here I go again, because, you know, this is the white snake principle. Here I go again. <laughs> I assumed um, that it had to do with fear. Uh, she already talked about fear, but I thought that's what this image had to do. But, of course, I was wrong again. When I asked her about that image of the claw coming after her, or after the, the, the subject of the photo, this is what she told me. So it, I felt like things were out to get me, like not just COVID, but that hand kind of represented like, I don't know, things that I felt were like ripped from me. For instance, you know, I, I got married kind of early and I was in this terrible relationship. And so I came out of this relationship and um, I was able to like experience life almost for the first time. Like I went to the club for the first time in February and that was like so cool. It sounds super dorky, I know, but yeah. like I never been. And then COVID happened. So it was like something just came and took, you know, this awesome new kind of singlehood that I had and this empowering thing away from me. Um, I, I, last year, like, well, in the last, over the past year, I've lost about a hundred pounds. Wow. Like, yeah. So just like working out and exercising. And so like, you know, February was when people could really see the difference. And I was excited to like go out and go to events and stuff. And then like COVID happened. So, so by, by this point in time, my heart was really going out to her. You know, one of the things I've learned about myself over the years is that I can have a high degree of empathy for other people, even if they're complete strangers like Carolyn was. You know, I didn't know her from a hole in the wall, but I, I was feeling something for her, you know, because of her story and the challenges, but also how she chose to, to face these challenges. And, and I know my mom is the same way because neither one of us actually handles sad movies really well. You know, for example, my mom cannot watch Bambi. And, you know, she certainly can't meet, can't watch, you know, Bambi meets Godzilla, um, <laughs> which is a classic. 